Welcome to Nameless Debate Radio, where radioactivity is contagious. You can join us in broadening our minds on the Nameless Debates Discord via the link below, and even feature here yourself, if you've got what it takes. But anyway, uh, yeah, Ast- I, I Astra. I'm sorry. Sorry, Astra, do you want to um, go in on the marriage topic? No, oh, I'm nowhere gosh. near educated enough on the subject to do it. Okay. I'm not either. I can, I can assure you that. <laughs> I would probably I would generally advocate, stand against. But oh, sorry. I, I just don't know what I would say. <laughs> yes, the state should interfere. <laughs> I would probably generally stand against um, the state being involved in marriage because I don't believe that it would be the business of the state. Um, what union? Well, no, Jesus Christ. I can't I can't take that position. That would be inconsistent with a position that I'm taking that's later in the debate. I um, I can offer like I don't really want to participate, but while we don't have anyone like for I can give a brief position for because there are some like pr- pretty obvious cases where you do want the state to interfere for instance if you have someone who's getting married when they're underage bam state should, get, state should get stuck into that one hey yeah or to their siblings exactly why would the state be or care about to you their know underage siblings <laughs> Okay, no one wants a fucking Muhammad situation where you're fucking a nine-year-old. But... In, in a sibling situation, I'm not <laughs> the, the problem is just the same as uh, most other uh, uh, power imbalances, which is that there's a dynamic that you can't really... Where you're not, you're not exactly equals when you're siblings. It doesn't really work like that. Okay. Well, if you, if you want to debate the state side in sync you could i mean i would debate this i don't actually want to do it i'm just saying i can think of some reasons that the state should get involved sometimes yeah i i would debate that position but i have to do the event so i I could i like i'm not jumping at the bit or chomping at the bit to do so but if no one else is willing to i could i could help out will maybe the state should the state should get involved by banning marriage. <laughs> Argue that. It'd be good. I started thinking. Five to six minutes. The state recognizes all marriages as illegitimate. I started thinking to myself, well, what business would it be of the state? What kind of relationships that I'm in up to a certain point? Because I don't think that you know you should be around to go around and fuck children, just as an example. But um. I started thinking about that because with the other upcoming topic, which is, you know, privacy versus security, I would probably uh, lean more towards the security side. And this would necessitate the state keeping track of people's uh, relationships and unions. Yeah, so that would be the side you would be debating for. for Oh, my God. I hate hate being stuck in this kind of shit. Do it. No, I can't. I'll time you. And it'll it'll be glorious, and we'll contextualize everything you say within the framework of this debate. I, yeah, I, 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 it's like I joined the last side, the, the last side because I agreed with it. I joined it because it needed people. Be a Chad. I, uh, I don't. I, 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 I'm, I think it's pretty obvious. I'm not a debater, but I'm going to say this is pretty fun. <laughs> I wanted to point out, I, I, by the way, um, it's pretty cool that we had a debate about climate change and whether or not it's going to kill us when nobody said anything about whether or not it was real. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. there, were, there, were, there were people that signed up on the side that did not arrive, and I think that that might have been the angle might, some of them might have taken, but yeah. yeah. like We have some positions, so I'm going to scrap the medicine topic because nobody from either side has shown up, and I'm like, it's okay, we're already running overtime, but I, I'm just topic? like, uh, the one that's like um, modern medicine, here, let me read it out to you. Modern medicine Homeopathy versus the... modern medicine? No, oh. <laughs> it, it supports the persistence of bad genes in the human gene pool and therefore exposes the human race to a weakened genetic makeup. And I'm like, Dude, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, 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 i <laughs> okay. They were just like, "Fuck that! I- I'm leaving." Okay. 
Uh, well, anybody want to participate in that topic? Might as well. Like we we're talking right now. Plot, plot Wait. twist. You you agree to that topic, and then by extension, say that modern medicine is the greatest threat to humanity. <laughs> uh, uh, the the next one though is gonna be the marriage one because it's really late for epic, and I don't want him to just like not uh, participate no, no, because no. he did prepare. I I I, I meant like uh, while, while we're waiting. We could decide uh, like, if anybody wants to participate in that topic. That could happen later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I, I think I misunderstood you. Wow. I do not believe that I would be able to articulate myself anywhere near the level necessary to participate in the marriage debate. But uh, I don't. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the idea of arguing that just because it would require so much clarification regarding other positions that you have, such as economic positions and social positions other than marriage, because one of them would be, well, it would decide, you know, tax rate of or, yeah, it would decide um, taxes relevant to a particular union that the state has ordained. But this would necessitate that you be in support of a particular system that you are not arguing for. And you can also make the I case that like your the economic idea. system or your political system is the one that people should adopt if it don't affect your society. If you're just talking about something else, you might want to talk about it a little bit more. I believe in you, Astro. Sorry, right, guys. I, think, I believe I in think we, I think we all know. I think we all know, right, that uh, marriage should be owned by the workers. Um, so that it's really <laughs> everyone fairly. So, Bridge, are you going to disagree with the proposition or agree with the proposition? Uh, I don't know what the proposition is, but I'm saying the state should be involved. Okay, so that's yeah, yeah that's that's yes. on that's on Will's side. Will yes. gets to uh, me. I get to eat. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what what if what if you you're allowed to marry your sister, but you have to pay three hundred percent more tax? <laughs> ben Shapiro's sister's hot, so I've heard. Oh my <laughs> god, she got knockers. Okay, so uh, Astra, are you going uh, for against the topic or no? No, I'm not. I'm not arguing it. I'm not articulate enough to. I need to look into it and think okay. about it. Who who said uh, that thing about the three percent if you're marrying your sister thing? Who said that? That was me. Uh, uh, do you think the state should uh, be allowed to kink shame? Hmm. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Okay, wait. Are we doing the freaking weird, or are we just doing normal stuff? I think we're doing just like. Privatization of marriage now, and uh, it's nine ten. No, now. no, no. But like, are we doing the are we doing the classic format? Like yes. The, yes. The, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, this is just intermission. Get onto it. Yeah, I'm just waiting for someone else to uh, join the disagree side because it's just two of you, and it's like three versus two right now. We can take okay. them. Yeah. Um. Oh. So if anyone else, this is the. This is the final team. Um, so again, the rules are that every team will get two minutes to make their arguments. Nano, mute yourself. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, every team will get two minutes to make their arguments. Uh, closing statements for this round would again be three minutes each side. I'll announce when the closing statements are going to uh, start and when we're halfway through so you guys get a better estimate of time. Um, how we're gonna how we're gonna decide which team goes first is by each side picking either heads or tails. So epic heads or tails. Um, I'm gonna go with the heads. Okay, I'm flipping. Oh, you won. Okay, nice. so. Oh yeah, me and epic got head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so whenever you're ready, epic, just let Astro know, and when time's up, he let you know. All right, um, I think I'm ready right now. Okay. All right, you got two minutes. All right, so I have um, three main points um, against um, state um, interference in the um, tradition of marriage. The first one is that um, state recognition of the marriage um, leads to um, a sort of um, an, an unfair or disproportionate reinforcement of, the, um, of a tradition that can um, lead to... Um, it can lead to a sort of arrangement where uh, people who have, um, oh, so, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know how to articulate this. Um, 
it reinforces a tradition where people who spend a lot of money on the uh, very tradition itself, like the marriage um, event and um, rings and um, all the material stuff related to it, um, get gain sort of a social social um, status, and those who don't get um, uh, face ostracization and um, uh, social. Um, Damn, this is really not English. Is not my uh, my native language. The face ostracization and um, yeah, <laughs> any synonyms for ostracization. Second point is that um, anything relating to um, um, the um, anything the state does relating to marriage is practically a waste of bureaucratic resources. Uh, handling marriage cases and especially divorce cases um, is a um, it's an endeavor that requires the um, attention of the court and um, um, time that could potentially have been spent on other things such as um, criminal cases and um, anything else than a literal tradition. Sorry for saying um, it's a Norwegian tradition. <laughs> Third point, um, probably my main one, is that um, the state. Uh, Sorry for saying no. The state recognition of marriage makes uh, divorce cases uh, make, makes divorce a lot uh, harder to um, go through with. So unhappy marriages are a lot. Um, sorry for saying no. <laughs> unhappy that marriages. Is two are... minutes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that saying um is actually a um, Norwegian thing. Okay, so go. yeah, go bridge. All right. Um, so at one point, it seemed like you mentioned like something about like the state running marriage, which I don't think is what's implied by the uh, the prompt. It says marriage should not be recognized or interfered with by the state. So that could just mean as like any involvement at all. Like it could be mm -hmm. a really small involvement. It doesn't necessarily mean they're running it. Um, so you said like you know that there could be like sort of social consequences of the state sort of uh, having things involved. I mean, um, I I don't see how that would be any less true for when it, if it was private. Um, people still like you know have so do social things privately of course um but so the main couple of points i would say is firstly that of course you know there are situations where we we don't want people to get married right so like you know um people where um, like you know uh, people where there's a substantial age, age difference uh sort, sort of thing but another thing is that um there are some uh, situations in which we want people to be able to get married right so this is you know with gay marriage, of course, and the reason why I think that that's important to have that sort of guarantee by the state is because um, in Western countries, marriage kind of has a monopoly as like the uh, co like the cultural thing you do to declare your love for someone, right? Like it's the thing you do to say, I love this person, I want to be with this person forever. There's nothing else you can do other than marriage to do that. So when you like make it impossible for someone to marriage you to get married, and you say, oh, well, just have like a union. It's sort of like you're kind of denying them that, you know, aspect of fulfillment of, you know, their love for this other person. So I think that that's something that should be, uh, the state should be able to guarantee that people that are not, you know, that have a substantial age difference uh, or that are not minors have access. Right. So do I get to respond immediately or is someone else going to respond? I mean, so it's you and personhood, right? So uh, yeah. if you want to, so you, you have two left? minutes. Uh, so you, you get two. Sorry. I, I can just respond uh, right now if you want. Yeah, you, you can respond and then. 20 seconds. If, yeah, and Epic, you can respond. And if there's any time left over within your two minutes of allocated time, personhood can maybe join in with his points. Right. Right, so um, marriage as a tradition does not necessarily need to disappear just because the state stops recognizing it. Um, there are, I don't necessarily have any statistics about um, the presence of marriage in countries where it is not recognized by the states because I don't think any states actually don't recognize marriage in some form, like all states do. But there are a lot of other traditions that don't, uh, that aren't recognized by the state, like uh, Christmas, uh, you know, Halloween, and even things that are... Um, related to marriage, like, uh, like traditions like honeymoons and things like that, that don't uh, have any uh, sort of state recognition that yet still get done because, not because the state enforces them or encourage them to be done, but because the people desire them, right? Just, that's the thing with marriage as well. It seems like uh, monogamous relationships are a sort of 
inherent thing of human nature we sort of desire to uh, create this bond that you talk about this kind of uh, union and um, and so we will sort of do this naturally and private uh, traditions private marriage arrangements will almost definitely still take place even though the state doesn't recognize it do i get to respond or is it well done uh epic side has about 50 seconds left person do you want to say anything yeah i mean as far as the cultural um aspect goes even if you have a strong religious connection or you want to declare it publicly i mean the state not being involved doesn't mean you can't you couldn't have it at a church you couldn't have an event um regardless of um yeah, I mean, it didn't, <laughs> I guess generally just what Epic said. Um, if anyone on Epic's side has anything to say, you got it 30 seconds. It's, it's, a, it's a 2v2, so it's Epic and Personhood versus Will and Bridge. So. Yeah, all right, never mind. Okay. So moving on to Bridge and Will, um, who wants to speak? Hello. Okay. You, you you can just say I, I'm ready to speak and we'll keep time. Sure. Um, okay. So I was going to say I, I wasn't saying or I'm buying that uh, marriage not being recognized by the state would make marriage disappear. What I was saying was that we have we can see that there's a history in many countries of uh, like marriage being denied to specific people, right? Notably like homosexuals, right? And I was saying that that's something that should be guaranteed to people because of its unique um, you know, monopoly on the, like, the cultural significance of, like, declaring your love for something, right? Um, no one can, like, deny you Christmas or deny you Halloween in the same way they can deny you marriage, like we've seen happen in history, right? Like, if someone said, like, you know, you, you can't go, you're not going to go to the store and have someone say, oh, we're not going to sell Halloween stuff to you, or we're not going to sell you candy, you know? But, like, people have, for, like, a long, long time, been denied marriage. And so that's why I'm saying that this is something that the state should be able to provide or is not provide, uh, guarantee is not um, pro like denied from someone on a discriminatory basis um, because it has like this really unique culture. Right. Uh, do I get to All respond right. right now? If no, the other guy doesn't I, have anything I, to say. I, I did want to add something. Um, All right. With, uh, the, um, the, with 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 the state actually you know always being within um marriage let's just say it this way uh it makes it a lot easier for it to get involved if something happens in the future um in in the state of in in the, in the case of divorce for example um something happens whatever if it's privatized and then law or uh, law enforcement has to get involved it's easier for it to get involved if, if it's already a part of the government and already kind of involved in a way, if that makes sense. So that, that whole idea of being privatized actually makes it more complicated to get divorced. Um, if, if, more sense, if that makes sense. All right. All right. So um, first of all, I'm kind of challenging the notion that Bridge put forward that um, marriage has this sort of unique position um, compared to other traditions where uh, it's easier for someone to deny someone else marriage because um, as far as i know uh, traditions uh, particularly those pertaining to religion have been denied in history um, pagan traditions being denied by the christians when they came to uh, pagan countries to christianize them you know um, i'm not exactly sure what kind of um, specific position marriage has that makes it unique and that it uh, is more prone to being denied than something like christmas and uh, about what Will said um, on the topic of um, private decision making something more complex. Um, if you want to get a divorce uh, in the case of a privately organized marriage, uh, there wouldn't be any sort of legal process to go through. Um, and um, unless you have some somehow uh, gone into a contract with a private company that um, guarantees some sort of... Um, like almost legal union between you uh, like if, if the marriage is purely cultural or traditional there is literally nothing stopping you from getting a voluntary cultural divorce like the 
I'm kind of arguing against both the state uh, rec recognition of marriage um, and the um, and any sort of um, legal formal contract that pertains to the topic. You got about thirty seconds left. All right, never mind. So um, does Bridge and his side want to go then? Yeah. Yeah, so um, right. I want to... You uh, I'm just going to keep going. I don't think you really sort of refuted what I said here. Like, when you want to declare your love for someone and when you're in a Western country, that is like, and say, like, you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person. That is synonymous with marriage. Like, that is what it is. There's no other uh, ceremony or, like, you know, cultural thing that has the same place as marriage uh, with respect to, like, you know, this... Uh, you know, showing your love for someone, right? There, there just isn't. It has a monopoly on it. Um, and what's more is marriage is something which is uh, sort of, like, provided, right? Like, so, you know, when you, if you, no one can really deny you Christmas because you can just go and get a tree and celebrate Christmas, right? But, like, you know, you are married by someone, right? So, you know, because if, some, if that someone is a private individual and they can refuse you, uh, your marriage based on, you know, they say they feel, think that homosexual people should get married, right? Well, then you're denying this person the ability to, within their culture, express their love for this other individual, right? You're, you're completely removing that from them because there's no other way to do that. There is no other way in our society to, like, you know, ha that is, at, like, at the same level as marriage of, the, you know, declaring that you love this person and that you want to spend, like, forever with them and you want to work through everything that ever comes your way because you love them that much right? There's, there's nothing like it. And so that's, the state should be able to, should uh, make sure that people um, can not, can access that without being discriminated. Um, yes, yes. Uh, what, what you said, uh, Epic, uh, I don't know how much time I have left, so I'm going to go with this quickly. Um, well, for example, in marriage, if there is no legal procedures or anything, uh, legal papers, how is divorce possible in a society where material goods are very important? Everybody wants their material goods. How are you supposed to actually make a good arrangement between, uh, you know, two people in a divorce? Um, if the reason why they're, if, if, for example, they're in a divorce and the reason why they're in divorce is because they can't agree on anything. So how, or how are they supposed to agree on, on, on something where, you know, they, they, they separate their goods in a That's good way? Minutes. Oh darn! <laughs> Sorry, bud. Epic. <clears throat> All right. So, um, Bridge, I, I still don't see exactly what you mean by marriage being um somehow being harder to um like no no I mean uh, easier to deny than something like Christmas. You said you can just get a Christmas tree and uh, celebrate Christmas yourself. In the same way, uh, I would say that you can find a partner, and if you want to stay with them, you can live with them, live in union, like it would be like it would do in a marriage. That would be the Traditionally and culturally, it would be the same thing. Uh, some people could try to deny, deny you that, but um, uh, unless there is some sort of, um, like if you don't, re if you aren't relying on some sort of external uh, authority to um, authorize your marriage, like it would be in the case of state, then no one else than uh, your general society around you can really deny, deny you that um, that right. And um, that general society uh, pretty much equals the state in that case, especially like at least in um democratic countries where something like uh, gay marriage is voted upon and um for will um again uh, about how to divorce um how to go through the divorce and how to separate goods if you don't um enter some sort of um, legal um, contract to share your um material goods with your partner in the first place then uh separating them is not a problem like if the thing marriage represents is some sort of unbreakable bond or like really strong love for a person. And in that case, uh, sharing your goods with them should become a non-issue. Like you should be able to do that without some sort of legal uh, obligation or contract to do so, right? And so um, you are still the uh, legal owner of your own goods and your own wealth, your own assets, but you are free to share them with your, your partner as you wish. And so without any legal obligation to um, actually share them and be the um have some sort of common ownership there would be no requirement for a divorce process for that separation to take place that's two minutes bridge your side or right. whoever uh so, 
who else was on your side? There's a mis- well, so I think there's a misunderstanding here, um, where Epic is sort of equivocating marriage with just like living together with the person. It's not the same. Thing. It's something you do when you are married. That's not what it means to get married, right? To get married is to go through a marriage ceremony, right? Where you like, like the whole ceremony. You have all these things. You have you invite the family and you you do all these things and you get like you know an official that says like you are married now. Right. And that, that's that's part of it. You So when you deny people like marriage, right, which has happened in history, like for a long, long time. Right. We've, we can we we've known this. It's happened very recently in some countries when you deny people marriage and just and you tell them, oh, well, just just live together. Like you're denying them the sort of fulfillment that the ceremony provides is because the ceremony is like a cultural thing. Right. Cultural thing that we associate with like declaring your love for this person right you can't it's not the same thing as you can't just say oh we'll just live together and then get the same sort of fulfillment as having undergone the ceremony and being recognized now as a married couple it's it's just not the same you can't you can't just tell people to live together and uh, it doesn't have the same significance culturally right so that's what i'm trying to say is marriage is the only thing that provides that kind that has that kind of status in our culture of you know being a very very strong declaration of love for this person just moving in with them doesn't have the same uh significance so it's because of that that we make sure that marriage is not uh provided on a discriminatory basis and even if you say well okay you know it's decided by the citizens anyway um and so so like it the private thing would would supposedly represent the state thing you can still have like breakdowns on who agrees and disagrees on something regionally right so you might have some people in certain areas of the country that are very against certain people getting married. So people that live in that country that are trying to get married can't get married, even though this, like the uh, majority of the country would allow them. That's two minutes. So that goes back to epic and personhood. Uh, I want to say that after it goes back to epic and comes back to bridge again, uh, Nano wanted to make a point. So the next uh, time it's Bridges, Bridges' team's turn, Nano wants to interject. Okay. okay. Right. So, so um, it, yeah. So um, well, it might have sounded like I uh, rejected the um, sort of uh, event or tradition side of marriage and um, reducing it to a uh, union of living together. I didn't actually intend for it to be like that way. Um. Um, I think I argued previ- previously, uh, earlier in the debate, that the actual tradition itself uh, can still be um, done without the interference of government, just like something like Christmas. Uh, and you, you went on to talk about um, regional differences and um, the acceptance of a particular marriage uh, within your um, local region. And I would say that I don't think the, that point has any um, legitimacy, because the... Um, uh, any case where um, marriage has been uh, denied for either for the reason of the couple being homosexual or being of the wrong religion has been uh, uh, the case that has happened under a uh, uh, in a case where the state recognizes and um, uh, interferes in the marriage, and so the state is equally capable of uh, not protecting marriages and uh, even disrupting marriages as the general population is. The state is a sort of um, abstraction of the general population anyways. All right. If you have anything to add to that personhood, you got about 40 seconds. Yeah, generally, um, the same way, well, the same way as far as marriage marriage, uh, privatization goes, the same way um, it's, oh, no, no, you're, uh, there's a bit of a, yeah, um, as the same way as far as marriage privatization goes, um, it comes from not wanting not wanting government involved. So, I mean, I don't I don't think the the local area or region, the people in the local area or region that you live in, should necessarily be able to decide uh, how two individuals should, you know, the specifics of their private marriage or arrangement. All right. Well, that's about a minute and 55. So I guess that goes back to Bridge, yeah. Nano, and Will. Okay, so Nano, I'm making a point against yeah. me, or are you making a point uh, for me? I'm, I'm making a point for the state involvement. 
So, uh, I'll try and keep it real quick. Can I, um, can I reply to the, their point and then you can make your point? Okay, uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, so, like, Epic, again, you, you said something along the lines of, like, oh, well, the marriage, the ceremony of marriage can still exist without state involvement, and that's not really something I was disputing. I was just, what I was saying is, is that, um, with, without state involvement, there will be discrimination on who can get married and who can undergo this marriage ceremony. And this is true because we've seen it happen, like, you know, for, for lots of history, right? We can, we can see that this was the case where before the state got involved, uh, people could just deny other people uh, the right to get married, right? They could just say, you, you can't get married because you're homosexual. Um, so that was the contention. And I'm saying the state is what needs to get involved so that it can't deny that for the culture. Provided. All right. That leaves okay. about a minute and 15 left. Do you want to go, Nano? Yeah. So I have just a quick point. So earlier, earlier in the debate, um, Epic made a point that, like, Lots of the marriage process that, like, all the states involvement in the marriage process uses a large amount of resources, such as, like, if people get a divorce, it has to go through the court system, and, like, there's a, a lengthy process involved. But I think that there's a good reason for that, because in, in a lot of relationships, especially once people get married, like, and have kids, there'll be one party that's sort of, like, the breadwinner and is earning all of the income, and then the other person is, like, staying home and looking after the family and, like, making sure everything is, is running smoothly in sort of more of the background role. And so, if if like the it, it sort of creates it, it can create a dynamic where one party is more dependent on the other and without having a system like the the divorce system through the state there's not really any protections in place to sort of like ensure that if things go sour one party wins everything and the other one gets nothing and i think that that is one of the big reasons why the state is involved all right Okay, right. um, so, so well, hang on, Epic, there's a new person in the chat um, who I have muted right now. Yeah, he, he, he might want to speak on your behalf, but um, I'll unmute him after you're done with your points. Okay. Um, can I just ask Sean which side he wants to debate for? He, your side. He doesn't think the oh. state should interfere. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. All right, so, um, uh, first you were talking about the um, discrimination, uh, and I was basically saying that... Um, um, I don't know if you um, f forgot or if you didn't hear, but uh, I said that the, um, the d discrimination is not exclusive to um, uh, the population. The state itself has also been, like, historically been responsible for, uh, I, I think, pretty much every case of uh, the denial of marriage for anyone who is homosexual or of the wrong religion that in, in recorded history. I, I'm not aware of a single case where the... Um, uh, general population has denied it. Uh, perhaps in recent history, um, areas in uh, like s conservative area areas have denied that kind of um, marriage while the state has protected it. But um, uh, the general trend seems to be that there is no sort of um, distinction between what the um, state and what the population will discriminate against. And um, as for Nano, uh, for the resource uh, distribution, uh, I would say it seems like you're making a point for uh, the um, um, for gender inequality uh, and that uh, women should be uh, like not necessarily women, but um, one person in the marriage should be staying at home and doing um, uh, typical work that does not involve um, attaining like accruing assets while the other should be. Um, and I would argue that that, that is a pretty arbitrary um, arrangement of the marriage, uh, an arbitrary um, power dynamic. That does not necessarily need to exist, and that a divorce where the um, where one of the parties gets the um, wealth or the assets of the other, um, while fair while it's a positive side for the one who has been uh, doing the work at home, it's not necessarily. Uh, in many cases, it's negative for the one who is giving away their assets because uh, they they will feel that the the state involvement and the uh, divorce process uh, forces them to give up their own assets. That is two minutes. So whoever wanted to make a point on your behalf, Epic? Yeah, that was Sean. Uh, right. I will unmute this person. No, I'm not going to unmute this person. Let's move I, on. I can unmute this person. <laughs> uh, okay. No, don't do it. It's, it's not worth I, it. I can say some stuff. So um, okay. cool. I don't see how uh, the state having discriminated against people 
with respect to marriage before uh, means that they shouldn't, you know, be involved uh, now. So, you know, just because the state has, like, um, you know, been involved in dis racial discrimination before, like, well, explicitly before, um, doesn't mean that we shouldn't have, like, uh, protections enshrined in, like, you know, our, like, uh, in our laws for against racial discrimination. We still recognize it's a bad thing. So, and we recognize that people can still uh, enact these discriminations even once, like, you know, other people have decided it's a bad thing. Right, so we want to make sure that th that those people can't uh, can't enact those uh, that discrimination without uh, some sort of punishment. So we, uh, you know, enshrine that in our laws that they can't do that without punishment. So I don't see how you know them doing that in the past uh, means that we shouldn't you know fix it now. All right. In, in, in relation to uh, what Epic said about my point, I was at, I wasn't saying that it ought to be one party is the breadwinner and one party stays at home. It was more that that is the case currently. And if there's no way for, like, if, the, if there's no protections on either side, then it sort of just comes down to the dynamic between the two individuals and maybe their close family and friends or social group. All right. That puts about 50 seconds on the clock. If, uh, is there any, any, okay. I'm, I'm just going to add to what Nana was saying. Um, if, if, for example, there's a child involved, um, I think any decent, um, I think the family run better when the, the child has both um, access to two parents. Um, so if, for example, uh, the, the system is privatized and the breadwinner keeps all the bread and the other one just kind of just, okay, good luck, have fun. Um, the child will not be able to go with the person who, who's been told good luck, have fun and will only be with the breadwinner. So in the end, the child loses if it's a case where the child is involved in, in the relationship. There's okay, a... uh, so I just want to say that like we have about uh, 10 minutes. No, not 10, a little less than 10 minutes uh, to wrap up this round on this topic. So if anyone wants to... I don't know how many more points we have. I don't know if I have 10 minutes more points that left in that. Me. That's fine. Um, does the other side have uh, more points to make epic person? Maybe. Um, let me see if I have anything to respond with. So how about you? Do, yeah. How about epic? You do your rebuttal, and then and then we can move on to closing statements. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if it's fair if I get the uh, final say in the rebuttal, but uh, right. No. <laughs> so this is not. So this is not the finish movie. him. Wait. This is not the closing statement. This is just you doing your normal response. And then when Bridge speaks or Bridge's team speaks, that's going to be the closing statement, right? So Bridge will do the closing statement and then his teammates can do the closing statement with him. And then it flips back to you guys for you guys' closing statement, okay? Yeah, I right. think he was saying he doesn't know if that would be fair because he opened. That's actually oh, a fair no. point. That's a good point, really. <laughs> maybe maybe okay. Epic should just do his closing now. If he wants to. Yeah, but I do also kind of want to respond to the bridge. What? I, 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 I do kind about... of want to respond. Sorry. You can respond in your Re closing. Yeah, story. respond and then close. Yeah. yeah, you have three minutes, so. All right. So um, just a quick response to uh, bridge. Um, You said this, uh, and I know you said it because I wrote it down as you said it. Uh, You said, uh, if the general population or if other people think uh, that discrimination uh, in the case of a marriage is bad, then the state will um, enforce um, uh, laws against that discrimination. But if it is the case in the first place, that, first place that other people think the discrimination is bad, then either the discrimination should not happen in the first place or the people who discriminate will face social consequences. And so I don't think the state as an actor is uh, necessary for this to be avoided. Um, there was also a point about um, breadwinner that I did not necessarily write down. I'm not sure. Again, there were three three points made in the last uh, the last one. Um, I'll just go on to the um, closing statements. I'll say that uh, I think the um, uh, in the uh, intervention of the state or the um, in yeah the rec the state recognition of marriage is a um, is an extremely arbitrary one that is. I probably derived from religion, don't quote me on this, um, and uh, does not have any sort of um, larger legitimacy than state recognition of Christmas or state recognition of Halloween. Uh, and the um, state involvement of it uh, displaces um, 
No, it sort of um, steals resources, as I said, um, bureaucratic resources from um, any other topic uh, that could, by most people, be considered a lot more important, like criminal justice and um, financial, um, you know, f financial crime. That's criminal justice as well. It's an uh, unnecessary uh, dedication of re the bureaucratic resources to uh, an issue that could be handled by people themselves. I think that's all right. In, okay. in your side's closing statement, there is one minute left. If uh, Will would like to add anything more, Pardon wait, me. personhood, personhood. Oh, wait a minute, my mistake. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's fine. No, I'm perfectly in line with that. Maybe, maybe Sean okay. wants to speak as well. Okay, I can unmute Sean now. So <laughs> yeah, just let, give Sean a minute. <laughs> okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right, lads, what's the claim? All right, so first off, just want to say, I don't think uh, the state should be involved in marriage. Uh, got a couple of reasons, going to list them off for you. One, uh, you know, think about all the bad stuff governments have done in the past, you know, like Hitler, you know, all that sort of stuff. So they're not exactly reliable all the time. Sometimes they're a bit reliable, but they're not always. So can you really trust them to make the best choice for you? And uh, speak about your choices. You're an individual. You've got your own thing going on. Should some guy in Berlin or Washington, D.C. make your choices for you? No, I don't think so. I don't think he should. What I think should happen is I think you should come to a decision by yourself. Yeah, you should let yourself do your thing. And if you want to have yourself a, like, a nice little church marriage or mosque marriage or you want to put the glass and stamp on it, or maybe you want to have something, I don't know, in nature, you know, a naturalist. No no religion involved, man. Yeah, you, you can do that. That's some sound claim. Do you get me? And uh, talk about gay people and all, you know. Who said they couldn't get married, man? I didn't say they couldn't get married. The government said they couldn't get married. Yeah, you didn't and... say anything, my dude. You weren't in the conversation. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's three exactly. minutes anyway. Okay. And, okay, closing, closing statement. No, no, that was the closing statement, my dude. <laughs> okay, was part of the game. I mean, to be fair, he didn't even get a chance to speak before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, boys. Yeah, boys, but no, I can't. All right, closing statement. Yeah, talking about pedos and all, man. The girls are going to sort that out, man. So that's pedophilia. That's not marriage, man. Do you get me? So, uh, you, yeah, you think I that think underage they marriages... can't make a decision for you. Don't interrupt him during his closing statement. And, okay. uh, yeah, man, you're so rude. Do you not know the the? Rules I am. I'm very rude. Don't, yeah, don't, so... don't, okay, don't continue. This is... Just continue, Sean. <laughs> this is what. This is literally. This, this is too smart. This is revolutionary. Okay. Story. Yeah. Okay. You know. Okay. Ridge. All right. Um. So epic. He said um, that, like, you know, okay, well, if the if it was enshrined in law, then it means that most people, like, support it, uh, and there, therefore, like, that the, the discrimination wouldn't happen. Uh, that's just simply not true, because, of course, you know, lots of people supporting something, or most people supporting something, doesn't mean all people do. And if you are someone who lives in an area where lots of people who don't support it do, you, you know, you're much more likely to get discriminated against. Um, and you said that, you know, if most people support it, then there will be social consequences for sort of uh, discriminating against people. We don't really uh, leave, you know, these types of things up to, like, social consequences. We don't, like, you know, when someone commits a crime, we don't just say, well, we'll just have, like, we'll just have people shun them, you know? We're like, no, we have, we have this, like, a state step in and we have the state actually take action in some form or another, uh, you know, because there's been some wrong uh, enacted, right? So, um, to reiterate my point from earlier, marriage offers, has a unique position in, like, Western culture uh, as like a declaration of your of your love for this other person, there isn't anything that you know fills that that um, that has that same fulfillment in the same way. Like not just living together, not just you know going on like on a nice date with someone. Nothing fulfills the same purpose as marriage in our culture. So as such, people that are you know both consenting adults, um, they should be able to know that they can uh, have access to this like a marriage ceremony without being discriminated against based on like homosexuality or other things um now and i would i would also also like to point out though 
that throughout this entire discussion, you didn't even actually once uh, go against the uh, proposition earlier, uh, the first proposition I made, which was that the uh, state should uh, intervene in marriages between uh, an, an of age person and a, a minor. Uh, and because that's obviously something we don't want to happen because we understand there's a power imbalance. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to that, Will? You got about a minute left. Um, I, I will say quickly, because um, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Nano would also like to close. I, I'm not sure, but with what he said earlier, I think it would make sense. But um, ah. the, uh, with, with, uh, with, if you prove, well, calm down, Will. Um, marriage normally is to unite people in life, but when state gets involved, I, I believe it also unites people in society within with life if that makes sense you know union in life with state union in society and life i'm just gonna end on this all right what about you nano you got anything um yeah i think that for the most part the the biggest benefit of the state being involved in marriage is that it allows them to have a system to protect all of the individuals involved not just the two main parties but as someone else mentioned the the children that could potentially be involved of these two people and without have if like if they don't even recognize the marriage as a legitimate thing then there's not really any grounds for them to try and sort of like step in and ensure that you end up with a, a outcome that everyone at least at least not everyone loses right <laughs> All right. Well, that's three minutes. Okay. Well, we're going to do the vote a little differently. Um, we're going to go vote Boy. in information for this. Um... Clever girl. <laughs> Shut up. So if you go in information and you react using that um, emoji, um, that's your vote for who you think did uh, better in this uh, debate. Vote Team Bridge. Can I, can I make some further points after we finish voting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's close. Never mind. Is that Epic with the disagree on his own position? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I will admit that, that I do believe the other side made um they did do they did perform better than me in my opinion. I am not convinced. Well, wait a minute. Now we can are we allowed to like talk about what happened in while we wait for the next one to go on? No, it's uh very yeah, it's... no one can ever talk about it. No, wait, let's have, yeah, let's <laughs> have a break. Right. I, I have, I have some. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you do, before you do all this, let me just post the new topic, which is going to be, uh, religion is incompatible with feminism, and please react to the message so that we know who wants to debate what side, and then we'll resume in like ten minutes. I spoke too much tonight. I need to watch one. <laughs> okay, I have, I have a few points about the previous topic. So, um, so I was originally more leaning towards the side of the state should not be involved. Uh, but one one point that I don't think was covered, which I think is a good one, is that like basically the main difference I'm aware of between a union and a marriage is that the state acknowledges it. So if if the state does not acknowledge the marriage, then like you can't you can't say that like how are you going to protect other people getting married if the state's not going to let them? Like the the it's just a union at that point, and anyone can help have a union. <laughs> people like there's there's not is if 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 no like external party is acknowledging the legitimacy of the union then anyone can have a union so to be totally clear a marriage is not necessarily a state ordained union between people it's simply a formalized one now this doesn't necessitate a state, it simply necessitates that there should be some witness to a couple of people declaring uh, love for one another and declaring themselves to be in this union. So you can have marriages in, for example, uh, Native American societies would be a really good one to go to because there was no centralized authority in the vast majority of them. Well, via that definition, couldn't you just have witnesses to your union and even if like say pre 
um, acceptance of gay marriage. Like people could, if, if the state was not recognizing marriage at all, what barrier eventually would there be to gay people getting married? There wouldn't be one, which is why I would probably err on the side of the state shouldn't be involved in it. Because yeah, like they, they decide who, who can and can't, whereas it's up to the individuals if they don't get involved. Yeah, I, I that that's probably the position I would take. The mer- the state shouldn't be involved, and as long as there is a particular union uh, between people and they agree on, well, now I'm thinking about it because a a collective of people could just decide, well, no, gay is icky. Let's go beat them to death. Well, that's a okay. Need- that, that, that's Hang that's on. completely different. Can that's I interject? State involvement. State involvement. The thing I wanted to add, um, the uh, climate change cannot be the greatest threat to uh, human existence. Um, if you look, for example, at COVID-19, which was, I would say, uh, quite mild, not, not mild, but it wasn't too much of a harsh disease or virus or whatever. Um, and it was extremely, you know, out of nowhere. And we saw how people reacted in the West, um, you know, just white said panic and such. Your liberty to exercise your own privacy, then you get screwed. But I mean, if somebody sets off a bomb, then you also get screwed. And then you start asking the moral question of like, which is more important, like uh, potentially leading to like a corrupt system of government or like death. And then you go into the weird area of morality and then trying to judge one life against the other. And the two other points that I wanted to make is to sort of introduce two more arguments, which is that like uh, the debate about like uh, national security. It, it depends on how you define determinism for me. Okay, so like that that isn't what people usually talk about when they say free will. What people usually talk about when they say free will is the ability to choose such that you could have chosen otherwise. Well, that's libertarian um, free will specifically. Well we, could, uh, uh, well, we can talk about possibility. Like, if circumstances were different, then you could have cho- chosen yes, otherwise. Yes, the circumstances aren't different. Therefore, 